We just got out of the cave, the first cave, the Tower of Sephira, or Sephira. I never thought about it, Sephira, you know, a Ra, uh, the Seph, which you would think, what, like the, like an angel is a Seraph, that's close, but a Seph and a Ra, Sephira, like Sephiroth. Right, people may wonder where he gets his name, or where any words come from. It's really neat to check out etymologies of words. That's, I wouldn't say it's just a nerdy thing I do. I definitely have a want and desire to understand letters, symbols, numbers, um, and so words. I guess another thing I could add is that try to think about where the word spell ing comes from, or curse if, right? Spell and curse, or grammar, like grimoire, the book, the book of, of spelling, the book of spells, grammar, grimoire, uh, all directly related, just uh, FYI. So this is a test, this is a very quiet town. Finally got to enter one of these buildings with the blue lady, and she doesn't want to let me talk. She just wants me to go forward with the test. So, you're like, what's this room? You start running, and you see the black stuff appears in black blocks. So, oh, okay. And then, let's see if I can hit one. So, you can hit them with your sword, or your body. And so, that's just supposed to tell you, get ready. This level is going to have some weird stuff in it. And it is. These, these spikes only hurt you. They don't kill you. Ugh. But the RNG will. Oh, I should have went already. That one. Oh, he's gonna stay on the corner. Sometimes they do that. It'll stay on the corner. Uh, ooh. Should be okay. So that's what you're supposed to do here. You, you'll probably run off the edge the first time, and you'll be like, what the heck? But then you see these purple cracks in the wall. So maybe you would obviously go for those. And then you see there's nothing, so jump for your life. Jump for that. Seems ridiculous. Like I said, you're not going to know what is going on immediately. I like these flames, drawing these flames. These ones have a blue outline on this level, but it's okay. I just... In a later level, they're more fiery and less blue. But, uh, so that's that's a rough one. I went way too early. My own fault. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <sighs> yeah, now I can't get hit at all. <laughs> so that's what you're supposed to do the first time. You run off the edge there. But notice how I can just run up that stuff now. Mm. Oh my goodness, that was... That's, uh, I mean, 50% of these are my fault. 50% is the RNG, but... Mm. I must have went up and hit the spikes on that. We're just gonna go. <laughs> I enjoy it. I enjoy it. It's satisfactory when it finally goes your way. It's like it is... I, I mean, how do you involve luck into a Nintendo game, right? Give me a luck skill, and maybe the damage doesn't hurt me if my luck skill is so high and it compares it to a blah blah blah, you know? Or, just have RNG. <laughs> no, no, no! Okay. This is another one of those rooms, you can see stuff's appearing, so you're like, what do I gotta do? Jump up there? You just gotta kill him, you just gotta kill him, you gotta kill him. Yes, okay. And jump it. Whew. Okay, okay. No, I should've went. That was stupid of me. I really should've went, but this is safe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, this is the third test. I think here. Yeah, that was good. And then I think here. 
That was definitely incorrect. So this one's a memory test, so you are meant to die. Now, if you got through without dying, that's fine. But I will tell you that it would be total luck. Um, <laughs> did it again. Which is fine, too. So I definitely go here. And then here. And then here. Oh. I think all the way. No. No. Here? Oh, crap. Here. <laughs> I can't believe that. Alright, go, go, go. No! <laughs> Alright, so all the way to the right, after the bats. Oh, already incorrect. No. No. Okay, so yeah, you gotta watch out for the flashy guy, too. You want to drop in the middle of these chutes, as you won't directly hit anyone. If you drop on the sides of them, you could hit, say, a flame or the, the flashy guy. Okay. Alright. So wait. So it was right here, right? And then to the right. Just a little bit of memory. I mean, the game would be awfully short if you could just blow through it. Then I gave you an easy one at the end. <laughs> All of them are okay. I like this little shadow thing. Or bricks missing. Almost looks like a little house. A big chimney. Okay. Third test. And let's go ahead and test this next room to make sure I fixed that. So as I was saying, there's 666 doors. You go in any of them, you're going to die. But, start back here. Oh, geez. And you gotta listen to this lady again. <laughs> Sorry. Well, hopefully you don't try all 666, because what you're supposed to do is either figure out some insanely... Uh, what do you call that? Um, ridiculous? Yeah, insanely ridiculous puzzle, which isn't mentioned in-game. Or, I made it easier, you can just keep looking until you find one that looks different. See a little green thing above it? That's that's different than any other one. Hard to notice, but that's the thing. You gotta be a detective, so. Go in the door. There you are. That simple. And we fixed that room, too, which is great. I will double check after I'm done with this video and stuff, but... And I will immediately upload this fixed version. Not that anyone's gotten that far. And if they have, they probably save stated. But they haven't mentioned that part where they endlessly are killed in spikes. So I doubt anyone's gotten there. But I'm not sure. Oh, epilepsy warning. So I'm going the right way. There's plenty of ways to go. Well, okay, there's like two or three ways to go, but uh, I'm going the correct way. Oh, that guy gets stuck. That's another thing with Nestmaker. Um, please come in, we are in need of your help. So he knows I'm a star rider, even though I don't. I'm kind of passe about it, like, what? Oh, you need help? Oh, okay, well, I'm sort of gonna... So he says, yeah, go uh, see the old throne atop the tall tree be able to help you. Now, Star Rider. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah. So when those guys are invisible, the Magus Rupees, um, you can hit them, but they can't hit you. Oh, this is so much easier. This room was uh, absurdly tough. Ooh! <laughs> it still probably looks tough. Oh, I got stuck again. That's okay. That, you know what? You'll you'll probably hope for times that the game glitches and the enemies get stuck in the wall. Like, oh, I finally have a chance in this in this spot. Mm. Mm. Man, this might be in really tough spots now. I did take away uh, one of those guys in that room because there was four. I will say this is one of the hardest parts in the game is going to top this tall tree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
That's good. I oh. <laughs> so that can happen. That's a thing. You gotta be good. I'll just die so I warp. That's another convenience if you want your life back or if you want to get back. It does pertain to video games. It's it's uh, mostly I'd say 99% of the time when I'm playing video games. But it's also when it's getting real intense, like uh, playing my buddy at Tekken or something, and we get real ridiculous. Um, oh, dead again. So yeah, sometimes my my eyebrow <laughs> would start to twitch. It's a thing. I've had a girlfriend set it off before. <laughs> That's another story. that when I jumped there, it wasn't exactly letting me through to the next screen. Um, it's another thing I'm going to blame on Nestmaker. It has to do with the left and right screen. And it has to do with pretty much everything. So, Imagine making a game where every screen to the left of the screen to the right affects that screen to the right. And of course, imagine that you don't ever want that to happen. How would you work around that? You say, well, you know, I maybe code that out of there. Well, to be honest, I, I don't know how to recode the basics of Nintendo games or the Nest Maker program, so you kind of have to wait for the people who make Nest Maker to fix something like that, because uh, it's, it's a very limiting problem. Uh, not limited, limiting. sucks. You can only imagine, unless you've done it yourself, uh, how painstaking it would be to make sure that those type of things don't happen. So the fact that it happened in that one screen isn't terrible, because it probably happened in about every screen. said this is this is one of the toughest parts in the whole game. Tougher than a three shoopy shroopy bro. Shoopy? Maybe I should have called them shoopies. Hmm. Mm, he already hit me. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that guy getting stuck somehow. Is that he moves so far? Would Nest Maker let you make a character that moves that fast if it screws up the game? I don't know. <sighs> and this frame rate's not helping either. It's barely noticeable to me, and hopefully, like I said, it's not noticeable in the video. Jump. I just want everyone to know this is a great controller. It's an original dog bone. It's a doggy bone. And uh, it's very reactive. And I am pressing the button. <laughs> I 